Stanford University, very fine university, or it used to be. Or I took a uh, year and a half to study harmful language, okay? The Elimination of Harmful Language Initiative. So a bunch of these pinheads got together and they go, we're going to have language that uh, we are going to be suggested not used at Stanford. Now, I took my son to Stanford uh, when we were touring colleges because it really is or was an excellent school. Both of us said, no, too woke, too crazy. All right, now, here are the harmful words, some of them. You don't want to say American on the college campus of Stanford. You replace it with U.S. citizen. Why? Because people in Central and South America are Americans, too, and we're slighting them by appropriating the term American. Immigrant, nope. A person who has immigrated. Prisoner, nope. A person who is incarcerated, not a prisoner. Homeless person, nope. A person without housing. Handicapped parking, nope. Accessible parking, not handicapped. Nobody's handicapped. Committed suicide, oh, no, no. died by suicide. Blind review, anonymous review. Tone deaf, unenlightened. Can't use blind or uh, deaf, nope. Addict, no. Person with a substance abuse disorder. And the word brave is out. They don't have a synonym for brave. They just don't, don't say brave. I guess it's because of Indians, but I'm not sure. Stanford University. About 80000 a year to go there. Bill O'Reilly is back on TV and only on The First. No Spin News, every weeknight at 8 p.m. Eastern, only on The First. 